Welcome to July's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is flatten a multi-level doubly linked list. I'm a little strapped on time today, so I'll have to make it quick. You are given a doubly linked list in which, in addition to next and previous pointers, could also have a child pointer, which may or may not point to a separate doubly linked list. These child lists may or may not have one or more children of their own, so, so on and so forth, and that's going to produce a multi-level data structure. Our job is to flatten the list so that it's going to return a single flat doubly linked list. Here's a good example. We are given this multi-level doubly linked list and we want to return just one level of linked list that's going to have the previous and next nodes. So what we'll do is go in this order, one, two, three, and when we see a child, we're going to make the child the next node and this child's previous node is going to be this node. So it's going to go one, two, three, seven, eight. Uh, once we saw child, we'll add that instead, make that the 11, uh, 12, and then we'll have to add the ones on top again. One thing to note is once we have this single um, level doubly linked list, none of these should have children. So let's look at the example they give us here and kind of think through how we might go about doing this. Um, it goes something like this. So normally when we go through a linked list, we just go in the order of whatever's next, right? So we'll just say, okay, make have some current pointer that's pointing to this current node. Go next, go next. And if we see a child, what we'll do is uh, readjust this node to say point the next node to the child instead and have this child node point to the previous one at that point. And then we can just continue on with this and we'll go to the child, so on and so forth. But here's the problem. Like once we get to the end here, how do we know to add, now we're going to go back to nine, add that. And unfortunately, if we only have pointers, we won't remember that we have to go back to this nine because we've already changed this next to pointing this to this child. So we'll have to have some sort of data structure to keep track of that. We can use a stack. Um, you can do like recursion as well, but I, th I think a stack is more intuitive. Uh, and we can, in fact, do better. We could have just a stack that um, stores both the next and the child nodes. And the order is what matters. Like when we're at this node here, what we'll do is add the next and then the child node to a stack. And on the next loop, we'll pop off whatever is on top. So if there's a child on top, then we're going to add that to, to be the next next node. Um, and then we'll continue on adding this stack forward. So if I had a stack here, let's say we're on number one, uh, we'll add whatever's next first. And since there's no child, we don't add a child, right? So on the next loop, what we'll do is say, hey, add add whatever's on top to to this, to the next, make that the next node. And uh, at two, we'll say, okay, at three, so this becomes three, pop that off. Um, but say at three, right, we'll add first the next node and then the child node. And what that happens then is we'll first pop off this child one and we'll say, okay, this one's gonna be the next one. And at seven, we'll add the next one to, to on top of the stack. And we'll just continue on this, building our stack as we um, make our list. So just make the next one, add the next one first to our stack and then add the child to our stack, if, if there is one. And that's gonna allow us to build our list. Um, each time we'll have to make sure to wipe out the previous or the, ch the node's child one as well. So let's start coding this out. Um, what I'll do is we'll first have some sort of dummy pointer that points to nothing. And this is going to allow us to um, um, keep track of where the head's going to be. And what we'll do is say, we'll have a current pointer and we'll have our stack. And the current pointer will just be the dummy and the stack will currently be empty. One thing I should keep track is, you know, if there is no head, just make sure to return nothing. So we'll just return back the head. All right, so while, while we have um, 
the current pointer point to something. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to first pop off what's on the stack. So we'll have to make sure to add the head to the stack first. So we just have this temporary node here and say, hey, pop off whatever's on the stack. And if this temp thing has uh, um, first next, add that to the stack. And after that, if this temp has a child, append that to the stack. Now here's key, here's what's key. Now we have to um, adjust our pointer, our next and previous and all that. So this current pointer's next is going to equal now to the temp that we just popped off. And the temp's previous is going to be pointing to the current node that we're on. And the temp's child, make sure that points now to nothing. And finally, we want to move our pointer ahead. So we can just make that equal to temp. So once that's finished, we should have completely readjusted our, our uh, multi-level to a single level linked list. But just make sure that when we return our head, we need to use our dummy, right? So the dummy points to the next is going to be pointing to the head. Um, and I believe we actually need to also make sure the, the dummy dot next, uh, dot previous, because right now the head is previously, the previous is pointing to the dummy and we don't want that. So we'll have to make that equal to none. So let me see if this works. Um, yep. Okay. So. Oh, it's okay. It's not, it's not while there's current, it's while there's a stack. Okay, so I think I messed something up here. Um, what? No, it looks okay. All right, let's go ahead and submit that. I don't know why that uh, was taking so long. There, okay, accepted. Okay, so like I said before, there's a lot of ways to do this. You can do this recursively. Um, my original approach was um, building a stack, but only for the the next ones. But that like wasn't very intuitive. It created all these if statements that I, I didn't like. So this works a lot better. It's an O of N solution. Unfortunately, you're going to be using some more space as well, uh, but it's it's not too bad. It should um, be pretty good as far as memory consumption and time complexity goes. So. Thank you. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.